Only on Eyewitness News tonight, we're battling bed bugs. You've seen the disgusting video. Bed bugs crawling around in homes, hotels, and businesses nationwide. You're getting bit multiple times, or you're staying two or three nights in a room, and now instead of being bit once, you're being bit 15, 20. Now all of a sudden you wake up, you've got welts. With so many of you traveling for the holidays, whether home from college or visiting friends, we are arming you with a game plan to keep your family bug free. Tonight, Susan Hogan shows you how to squash the bed bugs before they bite. It's a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. We've all been grossed out by the stories on bed bugs, and we're pretty freaked out now when checking into hotel rooms. But there is a way to make sure these unwanted house guests stay out of your house. And what you're about to see is proof that bed bugs are everywhere. When you go to bed at night, you may not be alone. So basically, when you come in here, you're like the buffet being sort of laid out for them. But there is a way to make sure the next time you do go to bed, you aren't a bed bugs meal ticket. Eyewitness News recently booked a hotel room in the Providence area. We chose it completely at random. Now, the thing that many people forget is the headboard right here. Even I was surprised when after only minutes, we found this. What is oh, this? Wait, there's something crawling oh, over there. Oh, my God. What is that, Tony? Is that a bed bug? That is a bed bug. Living proof these critters get around. Now the question is, are there more? Here's a step-by-step -step game plan you can follow next time you check into a hotel to make sure that when you check out, you're not taking home unwanted guests. Probably the first thing I would look to do is look to find the bathroom. The bathroom is the safest place, the least likely to have bed bugs. So put your luggage in the tub until you're sure there are no bed bugs in the room. First thing I look at is the bed itself. This protocol you can also do in your home if you suspect bed bugs. Remove the comforter and pull back the sheets. Now I get on my hands and knees because you've got to check near the baseboards and then underneath. Since the base of the bed is hollow, Tony DeJesus wants to get a better look. And what I want to get a look at is right in this area here, the joints come together in the bed. Any bed bugs? So far this looks pretty good. We pull out the nightstand and dresser drawers to get a real good look underneath. I look for signs of fecal material, which would look like little black coffee grounds. We peel back carpet that's not glued down. And this would be a perfect hiding spot for them. But nothing in there. After a thorough search, it appears our sole critter may have checked in alone. And when you get home from a hotel stay or your kids come home from college, a few things you need to do first off. Keep your luggage in the garage. Bag all of your clothes into trash bags and leave them in the garage for a few days or take them inside and put them right into the dryer. And then inspect your luggage with a flashlight before bringing it inside the house. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.